Hello YouTube, welcome back to Detroit to Become Human. We've done the laundry. We need to activate the vacuum cleaner, which is... Oh, that little guy. Oh, we got a little Roomba? Holy hell. Tidy up these books for the, so the Roomba doesn't run into them. What's he reading? What's he got? What's he got? Cook You're putting them what the hell is wrong with you? You're putting them page side out? Are you okay, Kara? They're room oh my look at their Roomba though. Todd, I've done everything that you've requ uh, requested of me. I a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Okay. Well, let's not Get in Todd's way. Goodbye, Todd. I still can't believe that Kara puts the pages, like, page side out. Do you want to know what books you're reading? Absolutely not. No way. Okay, let's not trip on the little dinosaurs. Okay. Tidy Todd's room. Tidy Alice's room. A mystery third thing, and also clean the bathroom. Okay. Clean the mess, make bed, ventilate the room. He's leaving his chips. Oh, like, those chips are going to be stale when you come back, dude. Like, you spent good money on those chips. Like, they're, they're basically ruined now. They're garbage. There we go. Pick up all of his records. Like, the thing is, like, I understand not always being the cleanest person. But have, like, at least a little bit of respect for your own shit. <laughs> like, if you've got these, um, these nice records you like, you love them, you know? They, they mean a lot to you sentimentally. Don't just leave them on the floor. You're gonna fucking step on them. Antidepressants. Risk of behavior disorders. Put it right next to the gun. Excellent. Ooh, mystery things have been unlocked. Okay, you've unlocked the dialogue or action. Often beneficial. Now note that it does say often. Which leads me to believe there will be times when we have dialogue options that we just don't want to take. Even though they're the unique option. Hello, Alice. Bed has been made. The mess apparently still not cleaned. Ventilate the room. I guess that just means open a window. How bad does it smell in here? Like, what if, what if my dude has the AC going? Okay, tidy up all of your rejection letters. What was that? Okay, well, anyways. Um, so Todd, Todd's room is now officially tidy. Watch it. You just paid thousands of dollars to get me fixed. At least, you know. Have a little bit of respect, I don't know. Like, it's like if you're spending all this money on robots. I would at least take somewhat better care of them. What room is this? Why is your toilet in a different room than the bathtub? What the hell? Why would they be in two separate rooms? I've never seen a house in my entire life that's got a bathroom or a toilet in a separate room than the bathtub. Aside from, you know, places that got like a half bath or it's just a toilet and a sink. But the but the normal bathroom still has a toilet in it. It's just Oh, so you've got like a restaurant. You got like an industrial mop bucket in here. Okay. Okay, mop up, mop up. The, the, these floors have never been mopped in their Why is this so difficult? 
Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Do you have like a wet floor sign too? Alice is going to slip. She's going to break her neck. Okay, bathroom's been cleaned. Alice! Knock first! I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? She didn't even say yes. She didn't give you permission. Okay, got a new extra. Make your bed. Alice is going to learn absolutely no life skills if you've got a robot doing literally everything in the house. Like, why? If I was an abusive dad, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy a robot. I'd make my daughter do everything. Okay. Talk. Hello, Alice. Don't take that out of context, by the way. <laughs> Friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we. She's can warm. Okay, she's warming up. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. She doesn't, she, really she looks terrified of you. Yeah, just leave her alone. I can see you want some space. I'll leave you alone. Run, run Alice! Get the hell out of here! Oh, what'd she give me? Ooh, a little key. Thank you, Alice. So I'm guessing she, she's got like a little box here. Okay. Even then, he still does not look happy. <laughs> he, he, he still looks very grumpy. I'm assuming his wife... Do you think his wife died, divorced him, or he murdered her? Well, I mean, this seems bad. Well, here are my arms off. Worry about that, Kara. I'm I'm sure that's totally normal. But what's in the what? What he got down here? Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Well, Kara loves Alice in Wonderland. You see that little smirk she gave? What do we got here? What do we got? See. Alice knows how to put books properly on a shelf. What, what do we have? She's got a book on neuroscience? Oh my god, Alice is a fucking genius. Ask Todd for new instructions. Alice is going to be the smartest six-year-old in the face of the universe. What are you doing? Playing with a fox. I'm playing. How fucking dare you? I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Maybe. A loser? Uh, yeah. I... Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? 
I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Sorry, I'm not programmed to intervene here. Alice, you're on your own on this one. Okay, so you've seen the gun. Did we do did we do everything? Did we perfect? No. Apparently there's some stuff we didn't do with be in the on the first floor, but that's okay. We got it we almost got perfect. We perfected the second floor. And I think that's good enough for me. Do you think the city would really sp um, spend that much? Do you think they'd splurge to get those kind of buses? I, I can't see the city doing that. Oh, well, Marcus is living it up. Hello, birds. They got cyber birds too? I love how you turn it on by poking it right in the eyeball. There you go. You guys live in the cage. I always find bird cages are like. They always just seem like so inhumane. Like they're so tiny. Deposit package. Where? Over here, apparently. So the positive package just means put it on the shelf. Why don't I, why don't I bring it with me? Okay, take care of Carl. Wait, Carl upstairs. Okay, Carl. I need, buddy. I need you to wake up. Carl! He's got some... He's got a nice house, man! He's got some dinosaurs, he's got some, like, like chandeliers, he's got, like, a whole giraffe. He's living it up. How much do you think the robot birds cost? So the robot person cost 1700 Then I feel like the robot birds, they've got to be, like, 50 bucks. they got to be cheaper than the paint are. Okay. Carl! Is this your door? I know I live here, but I don't know... I don't know how to walk around it. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? No, I'm also a robot. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. You gotta throw that out or so are those reusable? Because you can't reuse actual syringes. Our future syringes just like a, a tougher, uh, a little tougher. Ooh, we gotta bathe them now. Oh my lord! Looks like that guy. <laughs> Put you into your wheelchair here. Did you... I didn't see an elevator or, uh... 
What are those wheelchairs? You know those like things that like wheelchairs like they they have on like the stairs. They go. Brr. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life, but I don't. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever met anybody who uses a wheelchair. Like I know that's maybe it kind of sounds weird to say. The gallery director left four messages. But I guess it's not. I know. I, know, I guess at, in school I've known people to have wheelchairs. I haven't decided yet. Oh, he does have one of these things. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Hey, let's go. I don't know where we're really taking you. I'm starving. I can well, make some food. Is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you Wait, like. how is it ready already? I didn't make it. <laughs> Are they just like freezing cold? Okay. Let's talk them in there. And let's serve them breakfast. How, how do you like? I like crispy bacon. I like a very crispy bacon, but I, I also don't like hot take. I don't I don't like a runny yolk. I like I like a firm solid yolk. Like I like I like over hard. Or scrambled. I just I'm just not a I'm just not a, not a runny boy. I'm not a runny boy. And I know people love they love their runny yolks. Which is not for me. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Hello, oh, Keith Fabus. Okay, U.S. tensions escalate in Arctic. They say it's a fictional game. Um, what do we have here? Oh, we got some little skulls. What, what books do you got? You got... Oh, that's like Holy Garnet. What I... They're very blurry. Tragedies. Odin. Television off. He hates the news. Get him out of here. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. Honestly, 5,000 years, that seems pretty fast. So we got Plato, Shakespeare, and Keats Odds. Um, I guess we'll go with Keats Odds. That is the only one who I've never actually heard of. I don't know who Keats Odds is. Can you just, like, download the ebook? What are you reading? Oh, Keats is Odes. It's one of Keats the books is recommended. Odes. So, what do you think? Well, there's a lot of sadness in his poems. Hmm. Keats was in love. There's nothing like love to make a man feel more miserable. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Okay, come on, Carl. He's got a very, very nice studio. Holy shit. Look at the size of this place. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. 
Oh, so the sheet's not automatic? I've got to do that? The door opens automatically, but... Okay, wait for Carl's instructions. Okay, we can, we can clean a little bit. Is that going to be a painting of me? It, it looks like me, a little bit. Not me as in me, me as in Marcus. Keep on cleaning. I feel like artists, that they, they kind of have like an organized chaos, you know what I mean? Where even though things are, are, are strewn about everywhere, the artist, he knows where everything still is. So by actually cleaning, we're making his life harder. Because he's like, where the fuck is my red paint? I left it underneath the sink. And you're like, oh, I put it in the and then put it in the cabinet. What the hell's wrong with you? I wanted it underneath the sink. Or on the floor. <laughs> A little bit more cleaning. Well, there's 15 seconds of hard work done. I think I'm done for the day, Marcus. Take me back to bed. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. Yes, there is something about it. <laughs> what a nothing something response. I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Yeah, old, old people notoriously never have anything to say. Man. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl. Enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Carl, you're no, you can't, you can't get into the AI art. Paint? What would I? Carl, you're gonna get canceled. Anything you want. Give it a try. Carl, you're gonna get Marcus canceled! AI heart time, let's go! Okay, find a subject to paint. Paint desk, paint statue. Paint Carl's painting. Uh, let, let, let's paint the desk. I think maybe we could, uh... Oh, get the paint going, get the paint going. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I Carl, come on. Go. Come on. Grab that canvas. Marcus, draw Tony Hawk an alien. <laughs> Do something for me. Close your eyes. Marcus, what if oh. Bart Simpson was 17 feet Try tall? It. Draw it. <laughs> Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate. Marcus, draw what would happen to Mario Bent Matt Band. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Okay, let's go with androids. Hope. Let's let's hope for the androids. I don't know if this is like really made with the PS5 controller in mind because it, it's very bad at 
Come on. Come on. There we go. Like, it doesn't read the inputs great on the little uh, touch screen. Is there a big difference in the controllers? Well, they have the, um, like, the little middle bit has, like, a touch screen kind of in it. And I don't know if, like, the PS4 and the PS5 touch screens are, like, slightly different. The game's having a hard time reading it. Oh, my God. Because there, there have been, when it wants me to go back and forth, like, it, half the time it doesn't read in, any hey, inputs. Leo. Leo! I didn't hear you come in. Marcus, draw Leo in Titanic. I I'd stop by. <laughs> it's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? Talent. Smarter, more obedient. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. That's my painting. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Don't credit. Uh, well, I don't. Carl with my with my dart. Everyone likes Marcus more. Marcus is fun. He's a cool guy. Marcus doesn't ask for money. Okay, Leo intrudes. So no matter what, Leo's going to be a, a dickhead here. But uh, thanks for watching. We're going to throw a quick marker in here.